Welcome to Woo English Channel. Today we'll learn English through an exciting story about Jacqueline Kennedy. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more engaging stories that help you improve your English in a fun and interesting way. Let's dive into the remarkable life of an iconic woman, told in a way that's perfect for enhancing your English skills. Stay tuned. Chapter 1. A Young Dreamer In the heart of the bustling city of Southampton, New York, in the year 1929, a little girl named Jacqueline Lee Bouvier was born into a world filled with books, art, and the whispers of history. Jacqueline, or Jackie as she was fondly called, grew up in a house where the walls echoed with stories from around the world. Her father, John, loved to tell tales of brave heroes and faraway lands, while her mother, Janet, had an eye for beauty, filling their home with paintings and sculptures. From a very young age, Jackie showed a deep love for reading. On sunny afternoons, she could be found nestled in a cosy corner of her room, her young mind travelling through the pages of books. She loved stories about adventures and brave explorers. Each book was a new journey, a door to an unknown world. Jackie's curiosity wasn't just limited to the stories in her books. She was also fascinated by history. Her father often took her to museums, where she would gaze in wonder at ancient artefacts and old paintings. She loved to imagine the lives of the people behind these historical treasures. Was there a princess who wore that old, rusty crown? What stories could the cracked pots from ancient civilizations tell? Her school days were filled with learning and fun. Jackie was a bright student, always eager to raise her hand in class, especially during history and literature lessons. Her teachers admired her enthusiasm, and her classmates were often drawn to her vivid imagination. She loved to share stories during recess, captivating her friends with tales she had read or made up herself. At home, Jackie's love for the arts continued to bloom. She began to try her hand at writing, scribbling short stories and poems in her notebooks. Her room was a little artist's studio, with drawings and paintings she had created adorning the walls. She wasn't just a dreamer. She was a creator, bringing her vivid imagination to life through her art. Jackie's parents were supportive of her interests. They encouraged her to explore her talents, providing her with books, art supplies, and opportunities to visit interesting places. On weekends, the family would sometimes go on little adventures, visiting historical sites or attending art exhibitions. These outings were special to Jackie, as they fueled her imagination and her love for learning. As Jackie grew older, she began to develop a keen sense of style, she liked to dress in elegant clothes, and even at a young age, she had an eye for fashion. Her mother often joked that Jackie could turn a simple dress into a masterpiece just by the way she wore it. Jackie's sense of style was not just about clothes. It was a reflection of her personality. Graceful, unique, and full of life. In addition to her artistic pursuits, Jackie was also active in sports. She loved horse riding, feeling a sense of freedom and joy as she galloped through the fields. Riding gave her a break from her books and art, a time to enjoy the outdoors and feel the wind in her hair. It was during these rides that she felt most at peace, away from the expectations and hustle of everyday life. Despite her many interests, Jackie was a thoughtful and kind-hearted girl. She had a gentle way with animals and a warm smile for everyone she met. Her teachers often praised her for her politeness and her willingness to help others. She was not just a dreamer and a creator. She was a friend, a listener, and a gentle soul. As Jackie's childhood years passed, her love for literature, art, and history only grew stronger. She dreamed of making a mark on the world, of creating something beautiful and lasting. Little did she know, 
Her dreams were just the beginning of an extraordinary journey. A journey that would see her become one of the most admired and influential women of her time. Jackie's story teaches us the power of dreams and the importance of following our passions. It shows us that with imagination, curiosity and a love for learning, we can create our own paths in life. And so the young dreamer continued to dream, her heart full of stories yet to be told, adventures yet to be lived. Jackie's journey was just beginning, and the world awaited the many wonders she would bring. Chapter 2 School Days As Jacqueline entered her school years, the halls of Miss Porter's school in Connecticut welcomed her with new challenges and opportunities. This prestigious school was known for its high standards and rigorous academic programs, a place where the brightest young minds were shaped. For Jacqueline, it was a new world to conquer, a place where her dreams and talents could flourish even more. From the first day, Jacqueline stood out for her sharp mind and quick learning. She was not just another student. She was a young girl with a thirst for knowledge. Her favourite subjects were English and French, languages that opened new worlds for her. She loved reading Shakespeare and was fascinated by the elegance of the French language. Her teachers were impressed by her ability to grasp complex concepts and her eagerness to participate in class discussions. In history class, Jacqueline shone the brightest, her love for the past, nurtured by her father's stories and museum visits, came to life in these lessons. She could talk at length about historical events and figures, connecting the dots between the past and the present. Her essays were a window into her brilliant mind, filled with insights and a deep understanding of the world's history. But Jacqueline's school days were not just about academics. This was also a time for her to develop her social skills. She was naturally charming and polite, traits that endeared her to both teachers and students. Her classmates admired her for her intelligence and grace, and she soon became a well-liked member of the school community. School events and activities were another arena where Jacqueline excelled. She was an active participant in school plays, where she showcased her talent for acting. On stage, she transformed into different characters, bringing stories to life with her expressive voice and gestures. Her performances were always met with applause and admiration, affirming her artistic abilities. Jacqueline's leadership skills also began to emerge during these years. She was often chosen to lead team projects and school committees, a role she accepted with humility and dedication. She had a way of bringing people together, making sure everyone's voice was heard. Her peers respected her for her fairness and ability to make decisions that were best for everyone. Amidst her busy school life, Jacqueline never lost her love for writing and art. She continued to fill her notebooks with poems and stories, her imagination running wild on the pages. Her art evolved as well, with more sophisticated drawings and paintings reflecting her growing artistic vision. Jacqueline's teenage years were also a time of personal growth. She learned the value of hard work, discipline and perseverance. School projects and exams tested her limits, but she faced these challenges head-on, always striving to do her best. These years taught her important life lessons that would shape her character in the years to come. Her love for horse riding continued to be a source of joy and relaxation. The school's equestrian team was proud to have Jacqueline, who brought not only skill, but also a deep love for horses. Riding was her escape from the pursuers of school life, a time to reconnect with nature and herself. As high school came to a close, Jacqueline had grown into a young woman of substance. She was not just academically gifted, but also well-rounded, with a personality that shone in every aspect of her life. Her teachers and classmates saw in her a bright future, 
a promise of greatness that was yet to unfold. Jacqueline's school days were a crucial chapter in her life, a foundation upon which she would build her future. They were days of learning, growing, and dreaming. As she stepped out of the school gates for the last time, Jacqueline was ready for the next stage of her journey, armed with knowledge, skills, and a heart full of ambition. The world was waiting for her, and she was ready to make her mark. Chapter 3 The College Years As the next chapter of her life began, Jacqueline stepped into the prestigious halls of Vassar College. It was a place buzzing with intellectual energy, a perfect fit for her curious and eager mind. Here she would not only continue her academic journey, but also start to discover her own voice and place in the world. Jacqueline's choice of subjects was a reflection of her varied interests. She studied history, literature and French, continuing her love affair with the arts and humanities. Her professors were quickly impressed by her keen intellect and her ability to engage with complex ideas. She wasn't just absorbing knowledge, she was questioning and exploring it, adding her own thoughts and perspectives. But college was more than just studies for Jacqueline. It was a time of immense personal growth. She was no longer the young schoolgirl. She was becoming an independent, confident woman. College life brought new experiences and challenges, shaping her views and character. She embraced these changes, growing with each new experience. Jacqueline's interest in politics and journalism began to take root during these years. She was fascinated by the political discussions and debates that filled the college air. The world was changing, and Jacqueline wanted to be a part of that change. She started attending political meetings and lectures, absorbing the ideas that would later influence her role as a First Lady. Her foray into journalism also started here. Jacqueline became involved with the college newspaper, writing articles on various topics. This was a new form of expression for her, a way to share her views and insights. Her writing was clear, thoughtful, and often reflective of her deep understanding of the world. It was here that she honed her skills in communication and expression, skills that would serve her well in the years to come. Jacqueline's social life in college was as vibrant as her academic one. She made many friends, drawn to her for her charm, intelligence and warmth. Her ability to connect with people from all walks of life was remarkable. She listened, she shared and she laughed, making lifelong bonds during these formative years. Her sense of style and elegance also continued to evolve. College fashion in those days was a mix of sophistication and fun, and Jacqueline navigated it with her usual grace. She was a trendsetter in her own right, blending her personal style with the fashion of the day. Her classmates often looked to her for fashion inspiration, admiring her ability to make any outfit look effortlessly chic. Jacqueline's love for travel was ignited during her college years. She spent a year studying abroad in France, an experience that deeply influenced her. Living in a different country, learning a new culture, and speaking a foreign language broadened her horizons like never before. She returned with not just souvenirs, but with a new perspective on life and a deeper understanding of the world. In college, Jacqueline also discovered her love for photography. She would often be seen capturing moments and scenes around the campus. Her photographs were not just images, they were stories, expressions of her artistic eye. This hobby became a lifelong passion, one that she would carry with her through the years. As her college days came to a close, Jacqueline had transformed. She was no longer just a student of history and literature. She was a student of life. Her experiences at Vassar had prepared her for the journey ahead, a journey that would see her play many roles, 
A journalist, a first lady, an icon. She left college armed with knowledge, experiences, and a spirit ready to embrace the world's challenges. Jacqueline's college years were a time of discovery, learning, and growth. They were years that shaped her into the woman she would become, years that laid the foundation for her remarkable journey. As she stepped out of the college gates, she carried with her the memories, the lessons and the dreams that would guide her through the adventures that lay ahead. Chapter 4 A New Beginning in Washington After her enriching years in college, Jacqueline took a bold step into a new chapter of her life. She moved to the heart of American politics and power, Washington, D.C. This city was not just a place on the map. It was a symbol of history, decision-making, and influence. For Jacqueline, it was the stage where the next act of her life would unfold. Jacqueline arrived in Washington with a sense of purpose and excitement. She was ready to explore new opportunities and carve a place for herself in this influential city. Her first job in Washington was at the Washington Times Herald as a photographer and journalist. It was a role that combined her love for writing, photography, and her growing interest in politics. In her job, Jacqueline had the chance to travel around the city, capturing its life and stories through her camera lens. She met people from all walks of life, from politicians to everyday citizens. Each photograph she took, each article she wrote, was a piece of the larger story of Washington, D.C. She wasn't just reporting news. She was becoming a part of the city's narrative. As Jacqueline navigated her way through her new life, she also began to immerse herself in the social circles of Washington. The city was a hub of social events, parties and gatherings, bringing together the most influential figures of American society. Jacqueline, with her charm and intelligence, quickly became a known and admired presence in these circles. Her sense of style, which had blossomed in college, now took on a more sophisticated form in Washington. Jacqueline was often seen at events dressed in elegant gowns and outfits that reflected both her personality and the trends of the time. She was not just following fashion, she was setting it, becoming a style icon for many. Jacqueline's interest in politics deepened during her time in Washington. She observed the workings of the government, the decisions that shaped the nation and the people behind these decisions. These experiences gave her a unique insight into the political world, an insight that would later play a significant role in her life. It was in Washington that Jacqueline's path crossed with a young and ambitious senator, John F. Kennedy. This meeting was not just a chance encounter. It was the beginning of a historic partnership. John F. Kennedy was a man with a vision for America, a vision that intrigued and inspired Jacqueline. Their conversations were a blend of politics, history, and personal beliefs, laying the foundation for a deep, and meaningful relationship. As Jacqueline's life in Washington evolved, she found herself becoming more than just a journalist or a socialite. She was becoming a part of something bigger, a player in the narrative of American history. Her days were filled with purpose, her nights with gatherings that brought together the minds and hearts that drove the nation. But amidst the hustle and bustle of her Washington life, Jacqueline never lost touch with her passions. She continued to write, to take photographs, and to explore the arts. These activities were not just hobbies. They were a part of who she was, a way to express herself and stay connected to her inner world. Jacqueline's time in Washington was a period of growth and discovery. She was not just building a career, she was shaping her identity. The city challenged her, inspired her, and gave her a platform to showcase her talents and passions. 
As she walked the streets of Washington, she was not just another face in the crowd. She was Jacqueline Kennedy, a woman with a vision and a story to tell. The chapter of Washington in Jacqueline's life was a pivotal one. It was here that she grew into her role as a journalist, a social figure, and a partner to a future president. Washington was more than a city to her. It was a journey that prepared her for the extraordinary chapters yet to come. As she looked out over the city's skyline, Jacqueline knew that her story was just beginning, and the future was full of possibilities. Chapter 5 the Young Reporter. In the bustling world of Washington, D.C., Jacqueline Kennedy embarked on an exciting journey as a young reporter. This was a time when the field of journalism was largely dominated by men. But Jacqueline, with her unwavering determination and unique flair, was ready to make her mark. Her role as a reporter for the Washington Times Herald was not just a job, it was a passion. Jacqueline approached her work with a blend of curiosity and rigour, keen to uncover the stories that lay at the heart of the city. She was not intimidated by the male-dominated environment. Instead, she saw it as a challenge, an opportunity to prove her worth and showcase her talents. Jacqueline's assignments were varied, covering everything from political events to social gatherings. She had a knack for capturing the essence of a story presenting it in a way that was both informative and engaging. Her writing style was clear and concise, yet it carried a depth that drew readers in. She didn't just report the news, she told a story, bringing a fresh perspective to the events around her. One of Jacqueline's notable assignments as a reporter was the Inquiring Camera Girl feature. This task involved her roaming the streets of Washington, camera in hand, asking people their opinions on various topics. It was a task that required not just journalistic skills, but also a certain charm and ability to connect with people. Jacqueline excelled in this, drawing out the thoughts and feelings of those she interviewed with her warm and engaging manner. Through her camera lens, Jacqueline captured more than just images. She captured the pulse of the city. Her photographs were a window into the life of Washington, D.C., each one telling its own story. Whether it was a photo of a politician, a common citizen, or a cityscape, her pictures reflected her artistic eye and her keen sense of observation. Jacqueline's time as a reporter also honed her skills in interviewing and communication. She had a way of making her interviewees feel at ease, encouraging them to open up and share their stories. Her interviews went beyond the surface, delving into the motivations and emotions of her subjects. This ability to connect on a deeper level made her articles not just informative, but also profoundly human. In a field where deadlines and accuracy were crucial, Jacqueline proved her mettle. She was dedicated and hard-working, often going the extra mile to get the perfect story or photograph. Her editors and colleagues respected her for her professionalism and her commitment to her craft. Despite the pressures of the job, Jacqueline never lost her sense of joy and enthusiasm. She loved being a reporter the thrill of chasing a story, the satisfaction of seeing her work published. It was a career that challenged her, but also one that brought her immense satisfaction. Her time as a reporter was not just about building a career, it was about finding her voice. Jacqueline's experiences in journalism shaped her views on politics, society, and the role of the media. She learned the power of words and images, the impact they could have on people's lives and opinions. Jacqueline's journey as a young reporter in Washington, D.C. was a testament to her talent, determination and spirit. She navigated the challenges of a male-dominated field with grace and confidence, earning the respect of her peers and the admiration of her readers. 
Her days as a reporter laid a strong foundation for her future endeavours, proving that she was not just a woman in journalism. She was a force to be reckoned with. As Jacqueline closed this chapter of her life, she carried with her the lessons, experiences and memories of her time as a reporter. These would guide her in her future roles, helping her to make informed decisions and to communicate effectively. Her journey as a reporter was an integral part of her story, a chapter that showcased her growth as a professional and as a woman of substance. Chapter 6 A Fateful Meeting In the vibrant corridors of Washington, D.C., a chance encounter was about to change Jacqueline Kennedy's life forever. It was here, amidst the whirlwind of political and social activity, that she met John F. Kennedy, a young and charismatic senator from Massachusetts. This meeting, seemingly coincidental, was the start of a historic love story that would captivate the nation. John F. Kennedy, known as Jack, was a rising star in American politics. He was handsome, intelligent, and possessed a charm that drew people to him. When Jacqueline first met him, she was struck by his lively personality and his passion for making a difference in the country. He was not just another politician, he was a man with a vision, and that intrigued Jacqueline. Their first meeting was at a dinner party, a common occurrence in the social circles of Washington. The party was buzzing with conversations and laughter, but amidst the crowd, Jacqueline and Jack found themselves drawn to each other. Their conversation began with casual small talk, but it quickly deepened into discussions about their interests, their views on politics and their aspirations. Jacqueline was impressed by Jack's intelligence and his insight into national and international affairs. He spoke with a conviction that was both inspiring and compelling. For Jack, Jacqueline's intelligence, grace and beauty captivated him. He found in her a partner who was not only charming but also intellectually stimulating. Their initial meetings were filled with a sense of excitement and discovery. They shared long conversations, walks in the beautiful parks of the city, and attended events together. With each meeting, their connection grew stronger, a bond forged by mutual respect, shared interests, and an undeniable chemistry. In the early stages of their relationship, Jacqueline and Jack faced the challenges of their demanding careers. Jacqueline, with her work as a reporter, and Jack, with his responsibilities as a senator, had little time to spare. However, they made every effort to see each other, stealing moments from their busy schedules to be together. Their relationship was not just about romance. It was about partnership. They supported each other's ambitions and dreams. Jacqueline admired Jack's dedication to his political career, while Jack respected Jacqueline's passion for journalism and the arts. Together they were a team, each bringing their strengths to the relationship. As their love story unfolded, Jacqueline and Jack became one of Washington's most talked-about couples. They were a perfect match, both in appearance and in spirit. Jacqueline brought elegance and sophistication to the relationship, while Jack brought charisma and vitality. They complemented each other in every way, becoming a symbol of hope and aspiration for many. Despite the public's interest in their relationship, Jacqueline and Jack managed to keep their bond private and genuine. They cherished the moments they spent away from the public eye, moments that allowed them to be just Jacqueline and Jack, not the reporter and the senator. The early stages of their relationship were a time of joy, laughter and love. They explored the city together, shared their hopes for the future, and enjoyed the simple pleasures of life. It was a beautiful beginning to a journey that would lead them to the highest echelons of power and influence. Their fateful meeting in Washington was more than just a chapter in their lives. It was the start of a legendary partnership. 
Jacqueline and John F. Kennedy's love story was not just a tale of romance. It was a partnership that would play a significant role in shaping American history. As they stepped forward together, hand in hand, they were ready to face whatever the future held, united by love, respect, and a shared vision for a better world. Chapter 7 The Road to the White House The journey of Jacqueline and John F. Kennedy to the White House was a path marked by determination, hope, and the promise of a new era. It was during the presidential campaign of 1960 that the Kennedys embarked on a journey that would forever change not only their lives but also the course of American history. John F. Kennedy's decision to run for the presidency was a momentous one. He was a young senator with a vision for a new America, an America that would take bold steps into the future. Jacqueline, standing by his side, was his steadfast supporter a partner who believed in his dream as much as he did. As the campaign trail began, Jacqueline found herself in a role that was both challenging and vital. She was no longer just a senator's wife. She was a key figure in a national political campaign. Her intelligence, elegance and charm were assets that added a unique dimension to Kennedy's campaign. Jacqueline's role in the campaign was multifaceted. She was an advisor, a confidant, and a public figure who connected with the American people. Her speeches and appearances were not just about supporting her husband. They were about sharing her vision for the country, a vision that resonated with Kennedy's own ideals. Throughout the campaign, Jacqueline faced the challenges of life on the road. The campaign trail was a whirlwind of rallies, speeches and events. It was a demanding schedule, but Jacqueline navigated it with grace and resilience. She spoke to crowds, attended fundraisers and participated in interviews, all while maintaining her composure and charm. One of the remarkable aspects of Jacqueline's involvement in the campaign was her ability to connect with people from all walks of life. She had a way of making each person feel seen and heard. Whether she was speaking to a crowd or in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, her warmth and sincerity shone through. Jacqueline also played a crucial role in reaching out to communities that were often overlooked in politics. She used her fluency in French and Spanish to communicate with immigrant communities sharing her husband's vision and listening to their concerns and hopes. This ability to bridge cultural divides was a significant factor in the campaign's outreach efforts. As the campaign progressed, the Kennedys faced their share of challenges and criticisms. The road to the White House was not an easy one, with intense scrutiny from the media and political opponents. However, Jacqueline and John faced these challenges together their partnership strengthened by adversity. Jacqueline's style and poise were also a subject of public fascination. She became a fashion icon, admired for her sophisticated and elegant wardrobe. Her sense of style was more than just a personal preference. It was a reflection of the new era that the Kennedys represented, an era of elegance, progress and hope. The culmination of the campaign was a moment of triumph and emotion. When John F. Kennedy was elected as the 35th President of the United States, it was not just a victory for him. It was a victory for the couple who had worked tirelessly towards this goal. Jacqueline, standing beside her husband as he delivered his victory speech, was filled with a sense of pride and accomplishment. The road to the White House was a journey that showcased Jacqueline Kennedy's strength intelligence and commitment. She was more than a supportive wife. She was a key player in a historic campaign. Her role in the journey to the White House was a testament to her abilities as a leader, a communicator and a visionary. As Jacqueline and John F. Kennedy stepped into their roles as the First Lady and President of the United States, they carried with them the hopes and dreams of a nation.
Their journey to the White House was a chapter of resilience, partnership, and a shared vision for a better future. A chapter that would forever be etched in the annals of American history. Chapter 7 takes us on the exciting journey of the Kennedys to the White House, revealing Jacqueline's vital role in the campaign. Stay tuned for Chapter 8, where we explore Jacqueline's transformation into a global fashion icon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Woo English for more captivating stories that make learning English enjoyable and engaging. Share your thoughts on Jacqueline's journey in the comments below. Chapter 8 First Lady of Fashion With the dawn of a new era in the White House, Jacqueline Kennedy, the First Lady, became an icon of style and elegance that captivated not just America but the world. Her impact on fashion was profound, setting trends and redefining the way a generation of women dressed and presented themselves. Jacqueline's approach to fashion was more than just about wearing beautiful clothes. It was an expression of her personality, her sophistication, and her understanding of the power of appearance. As First Lady, she knew that her style was not just a personal statement, but also a reflection of the image of the American presidency. Her fashion choices were a blend of simplicity, elegance, and modernity. Jacqueline favoured clean lines, solid colours, and well-fitted silhouettes. She popularised the pillbox hat, a simple yet stylish accessory that became synonymous with her name. Her evening gowns, often created by renowned designers, were admired for their grace and refined beauty. One of Jacqueline's most significant contributions to fashion was her ability to combine high fashion with accessibility. She understood that as a public figure, her style was watched and emulated by millions. She chose outfits that were elegant but not extravagant, stylish yet approachable. Women across America and beyond looked to her for fashion inspiration, eagerly waiting to see her latest outfits. Jacqueline was not just a passive follower of fashion. She actively collaborated with designers to create her unique look. She worked closely with designers like Oleg Cassini, who helped craft her signature style. Her choices often challenged the norms, but they were always tasteful and dignified, befitting her role as the First Lady. Her impact on fashion extended beyond her wardrobe. Jacqueline was a patron of the arts and saw fashion as a form of artistic expression. She supported American designers, bringing attention to the talent and creativity within the country. Her preference for American designers not only influenced the fashion industry, but also boosted national pride. Jacqueline's elegance was not limited to formal occasions. Her casual style was equally influential, characterized by simple yet chic outfits. She popularised the wearing of capri pants, turtlenecks and ballet flats, a style that was both comfortable and stylish. Her casual attire broke the mould of the traditional first lady look, introducing a more relaxed and modern approach to women's fashion. Beyond her clothes, Jacqueline's overall appearance was a key element of her style. Her hairstyle, makeup and accessories were always impeccable completing her look. She understood the importance of the total image, ensuring that every aspect of her appearance was harmonious and elegant. Jacqueline's influence on fashion went beyond trends. She brought a new sense of confidence and grace to women's fashion, inspiring women to be stylish but also authentic and true to themselves. Her style was a statement of her identity, a balance of grace and strength. As the First Lady of Fashion, Jacqueline Kennedy transformed the way the world viewed American fashion and the role of the First Lady. Her legacy in fashion remains enduring, a testament to her timeless elegance and her understanding of the power of personal style.
Jacqueline Kennedy's story in the world of fashion is not just about the clothes she wore. It is a story of elegance, innovation, and the impact of a woman who used her public platform to inspire and influence. Her legacy as a fashion icon continues to inspire generations, a legacy of a woman who was not just the First Lady of the United States, but also the First Lady of Fashion. Chapter 9. A Cultural Revolution Jacqueline Kennedy's arrival in the White House marked the beginning of a remarkable era in the promotion of arts and culture in America. As First Lady, she wasn't content to play a passive role. She embarked on a mission to transform the White House into a vibrant center of cultural excellence, a reflection of the nation's history and its artistic potential. Her vision was clear. To showcase the White House as more than just a residence for the President and his family. She saw it as a living museum, a place that should reflect the rich cultural heritage of America. Jacqueline's deep appreciation for history and art guided her efforts as she began the work of restoring and preserving the White House. One of Jacqueline's significant contributions was the historic restoration of the White House. She believed that the interior of the White House should mirror the nation's history and accomplishments. To achieve this, she led a comprehensive restoration project. She sought out experts in American history, art and design, ensuring that each room in the White House was a testament to America's cultural journey. Jacqueline's efforts went beyond mere decoration. She meticulously sourced historical furniture, artworks and artefacts, turning the White House into a showcase of American history and craftsmanship. Her attention to detail was evident in every room, each piece telling a story of the past. This restoration project not only beautified the White House, but also helped preserve important pieces of American history. Her influence extended to promoting arts and culture on a broader scale. Jacqueline was instrumental in bringing renowned artists, musicians and performers to the White House. These events were not just social gatherings, they were a platform for celebrating and showcasing talent. From classical music concerts to literary readings, the White House under Jacqueline's guidance became a cultural hub, attracting some of the finest talents of the time. Jacqueline's commitment to the arts was also about making culture accessible to all Americans. She understood the power of television and used it to bring the arts into American homes. Her televised tour of the White House was a groundbreaking moment, as millions of viewers got a glimpse of the rich cultural history of their country. This tour was not just a walk through a building. It was an educational journey, narrated by Jacqueline with her characteristic grace and knowledge. Her cultural initiatives extended beyond the walls of the White House. Jacqueline supported arts education, recognizing the importance of nurturing artistic talent and appreciation from a young age. She championed programs and organizations that worked towards this goal, believing that a nation's strength lay not just in its economic or military power, but also in its cultural richness. Jacqueline's efforts to promote arts and culture reshaped the nation's perspective on the importance of these fields. She elevated the status of artists and cultural institutions, emphasizing their essential role in society. Her work laid the groundwork for future cultural policies and initiatives, highlighting the need for government support in the preservation and promotion of the arts. As First Lady, Jacqueline Kennedy redefined the role, using her position to initiate a cultural revolution. She left an indelible mark on the White House and on the nation's cultural landscape. Her legacy in promoting arts and culture is a testament to her vision, her passion, and her understanding of the power of culture in shaping a nation's identity. Jacqueline's story in this chapter is a narrative of transformation and inspiration. She showed that with vision and effort, cultural change is possible.
her work in the White House was more than a restoration project. It was a statement about the value of arts and culture in American life. Through her efforts, Jacqueline Kennedy not only beautified a residence but also enriched a nation, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire and resonate. Chapter 10. Tragedy Strikes. November 22, 1963, dawned like any other day in the life of First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, but it was a day that would be etched in history as one of profound sadness and loss. On this day, America faced a tragedy that shook the nation to its core, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. This chapter delves into the events of that fateful day, highlighting Jacqueline's strength and dignity in the face of unimaginable grief. The day started with the promise of a hopeful journey, as Jacqueline and President Kennedy were in Dallas, Texas, for a political visit. They were greeted by enthusiastic crowds, a testament to the love and admiration the public held for them. As they rode through the streets in a motorcade, waving and smiling at the onlookers, no one could have foreseen the tragedy that was about to unfold. The shots that rang out in Deale Plaza changed everything in a matter of seconds. The president was fatally wounded, and Jacqueline's world was turned upside down. In those moments of chaos and shock, her first instincts were of care and protection for her husband, a poignant display of her deep love and commitment. The nation watched in horror and disbelief as the events unfolded. Jacqueline, now a widow, faced the public with a composure that was both heartbreaking and awe-inspiring. In the days following the assassination, the world saw her not just as a first lady, but as a woman of incredible strength and grace. Jacqueline's poise during this period was a beacon of stability in a time of national turmoil. She handled the arrangements for the president's funeral with dignity, ensuring that it was a fitting tribute to a man who had captured the hearts of the American people. Her ability to remain composed and respectful, despite her personal grief, was a testament to her character. In the wake of the assassination, Jacqueline showed immense courage and resilience. She was a pillar of strength for her children, Carolyn and John Jr., shielding them from the public eye and providing them with the love and support they needed during this difficult time. Jacqueline's fortitude in the aftermath of the tragedy left a lasting impression on the nation and the world. She became a symbol of endurance, a woman who, despite her own loss, stood strong for her family and her country. Her conduct during this period was not just about fulfilling her role as First Lady. It was about being a human being faced with an immense personal tragedy. The assassination of President Kennedy was not just a personal loss for Jacqueline. It was the end of an era. The hopes and dreams that had been born with the Kennedy presidency were suddenly and brutally cut short. Yet through her actions and demeanour, Jacqueline ensured that the legacy of her husband would not be forgotten. In the face of tragedy, Jacqueline Kennedy showed the world the true meaning of strength and dignity. She carried herself with a grace that was both moving and powerful, providing a sense of comfort and unity to a grieving nation. Her resilience during this time was a reminder of the human capacity to endure and to find strength even in the darkest of times. The chapter, Tragedy Strikes, is a sensitive portrayal of one of the most challenging periods in Jacqueline Kennedy's life. It is a story of loss, but also of incredible strength and dignity. It is a tribute to a woman who, in the face of unimaginable grief, stood as a symbol of resilience and grace, a testament to her enduring spirit and her profound impact on the world. Chapter 11. A New Life. Following the heart-rending loss of her husband, President John F. Kennedy, Jacqueline Kennedy faced the daunting task of starting a new chapter in her life. This chapter, A New Life, explores how she navigated her journey after leaving the White House, 
focusing on her dedication to preserving her husband's legacy and her own personal growth. After the tragedy, Jacqueline sought to ensure that the memory and ideals of President Kennedy would be honoured and remembered. She played a pivotal role in the establishment of the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum in Boston. This was not just a project for her, it was a mission. She was deeply involved in every aspect of its creation, from the architectural design to the selection of exhibits. The library was a tribute to her late husband, a place where his vision for America and his contributions to the nation's history would be preserved for generations. Jacqueline also focused on raising her two children, Caroline and John Jr. She was determined to provide them with a normal upbringing, away from the public eye. Her role as a mother was her top priority, and she took it upon herself to ensure that her children grew up with the values and memories of their father. She shielded them from the media as much as possible, creating a stable and loving environment for them. In these years, Jacqueline began to carve out a life for herself that was independent of her role as the former First Lady. She turned to her lifelong passion for books and literature, which led her to a successful career in publishing. Working as an editor, she brought her unique perspective and insight to the literary world. Her work in publishing was not just a job. It was a reflection of her intellect, her taste, and her desire to contribute to the world of arts and letters. Jacqueline's interest in preservation and cultural heritage continued to be a significant part of her life. She was instrumental in the fight to save and restore historic New York City landmarks, including Grand Central Terminal. Her advocacy for historical preservation showcased her deep appreciation for the past and her understanding of its importance in shaping the future. In her personal life, Jacqueline sought to find a balance between her private world and her public persona. She maintained a dignified presence, carrying herself with the grace and poise that had always been her hallmark. She continued to be a style icon, admired for her elegance and her ability to adapt her style as times changed. Jacqueline's life after the White House was marked by her resilience, and her ability to adapt to new circumstances. She faced the challenges of her new life with strength and grace, always mindful of her responsibility to her family and her husband's legacy. She embarked on new endeavours, each reflecting a facet of her multifaceted personality, as a mother, a professional, and a champion of cultural preservation. Her journey was not without its difficulties, but Jacqueline navigated them with the same dignity and composure that had defined her public life. She emerged as a woman of substance, someone who had faced unimaginable challenges, but who continued to live life with purpose and passion. A New Life is a chapter that showcases Jacqueline Kennedy's journey of transformation. It tells the story of a woman who, after experiencing great loss, found the strength to rebuild her life. It is a testament to her resilience, her commitment to her family, and her enduring impact on the world. Jacqueline's story in this chapter is one of hope, renewal, and the unyielding spirit of a woman who faced life's trials with courage and grace. Chapter 12. Jacqueline, the Editor. After leaving the White House, Jacqueline Kennedy embarked on a new professional journey, one that allowed her to channel her lifelong passion for literature and the arts into a fulfilling career. This chapter delves into Jacqueline's remarkable transition into the world of book editing, a role where her intellect, creativity and exquisite taste found a new expression. Embarking on this new career path, Jacqueline joined one of the most prestigious publishing houses in New York. Here, she wasn't just any editor. She brought with her a wealth of knowledge, a keen eye for quality, 
and a deep understanding of what makes a book truly special. Her role as an editor was more than a job. It was a manifestation of her love for words and her desire to contribute to the literary world. In her role as an editor, Jacqueline worked closely with authors, guiding them through the process of bringing their manuscripts to life. She had a unique ability to connect with writers, understanding their vision and helping them refine their work. Her approach was collaborative and supportive, always aiming to bring out the best in each author she worked with. Jacqueline's editorial projects were as varied as her interests. She worked on a wide range of books, from historical biographies to art and photography volumes. Her keen sense of aesthetics and her attention to detail were evident in each project she undertook. She ensured that every book she worked on was not just well written, but also beautifully presented, a feast for both the mind and the eyes. One of the key aspects of Jacqueline's success as an editor was her ability to spot potential. She had a talent for identifying unique stories and voices, often taking chances on works that were unconventional or from lesser-known authors. Her intuition and judgment often paid off, resulting in critically acclaimed and commercially successful books. Jacqueline's influence extended beyond the pages of the books she edited. She brought a certain prestige to the projects she handled, attracting attention to works that might otherwise have gone unnoticed. Her name became synonymous with quality and elegance in the publishing world, drawing readers to books that had her touch. Despite her high-profile background, Jacqueline was known for her humility and dedication in her editorial role. She was deeply respected in the publishing community, not just for her name, but for her work ethic, her intelligence, and her genuine commitment to the world of books. Her love for the arts and culture also continued to shine through in her editorial work. She championed books that promoted cultural understanding and appreciation, reflecting her belief in the power of the arts to enlighten and enrich society. Jacqueline's career as a book editor was not just a post-White House occupation, it was a reflection of her personal growth and her continuous pursuit of intellectual and creative fulfilment. Through her work, she remained engaged with the world of ideas, contributing to the cultural landscape in a meaningful and lasting way. Jacqueline the Editor is a chapter that celebrates Jacqueline Kennedy's second act, a testament to her multifaceted personality and her unending quest for knowledge and beauty. Her journey in the publishing world exemplifies her ability to reinvent herself, to find new ways to express her talents and passions. It's a story of how one woman's love for literature and the arts found a new purpose leaving a lasting imprint in the world of publishing and beyond. Chapter 13. Family Ties In the midst of her many roles, former First Lady, editor, cultural icon, Jacqueline Kennedy's most cherished role was that of a mother. This chapter, Family Ties, delves into the heart of Jacqueline's life, highlighting her profound relationship with her children Caroline and John Jr., and her unwavering efforts to provide them with a stable, loving and normal upbringing. From the outset, Jacqueline was determined to shield her children from the overwhelming public attention that came with being a part of the Kennedy family. She was acutely aware of the unique challenges they faced and strived to create a sanctuary of normalcy and privacy. Her approach to motherhood was characterised by a deep sense of love and a commitment to ensuring that her children had a childhood as regular as possible. Jacqueline's relationship with Caroline and John Jr. was built on a foundation of love, trust and understanding. She was not just their mother, she was their confidant, their support system and their guide. She instilled in them the values of kindness, empathy and respect, always emphasising the importance of humility and hard work. 
Education was a priority for Jacqueline when it came to her children's upbringing. She was closely involved in their schooling, choosing institutions that offered not just academic excellence, but also a sense of community and normalcy. She often helped them with their homework, encouraging their intellectual curiosity and supporting their educational pursuits. Despite the glare of the public eye, Jacqueline managed to keep her children's lives private. She organised family outings and vacations away from the media, allowing them and herself the chance to relax and enjoy each other's company, away from the public spotlight. These moments were cherished, filled with laughter, adventure and the simple joys of family life. Jacqueline also ensured that her children were aware of their father's legacy. She shared stories of John F. Kennedy, keeping his memory alive in their hearts. However, she did so with a balance, making sure that while they understood their father's significance in history, they also saw him as a loving parent. As Caroline and John Jr. grew, Jacqueline's role as a mother evolved. She respected their individuality, supporting their decisions and paths in life. She was proud of their accomplishments, not just for their achievements, but for the kind of people they had become. Her guidance and influence were evident in the way they carried themselves, with grace, dignity, and a sense of purpose. And Jacqueline's relationship with her children was not without its challenges, particularly as they navigated the complexities of adolescence and young adulthood under public scrutiny. However, the bond they shared only grew stronger with time. The love and respect they had for each other were evident to all who knew them. In Family Ties, Jacqueline Kennedy's journey as a mother is a poignant narrative of love, sacrifice and dedication. It's a story that reveals the softer, more personal side of a woman known to the world for her public persona. Her commitment to her children, her efforts to provide them with a sense of normalcy, and her success in raising them under extraordinary circumstances are a testament to her strength and character. This chapter is a celebration of the enduring bond between a mother and her children, a bond that was nurtured and protected against the backdrop of a life lived in the public eye. It's a testament to Jacqueline's role as a mother, one of the most important and fulfilling roles she ever undertook. Her story as a mother is a powerful reminder of the universal themes of love, family, and the enduring ties that bind. Chapter 14 an Enduring Legacy As the chapters of Jacqueline Kennedy's life unfolded, her impact on American culture and society grew into an enduring legacy, one that continues to resonate long after her time in the public eye. This chapter, An Enduring Legacy, looks back at the remarkable ways in which she influenced not just the realms of politics, fashion and arts, but also how she became a symbol of strength, elegance and resilience. Jacqueline Kennedy's influence on fashion and style is one of the most visible aspects of her legacy. Her sense of style, characterised by its elegance, simplicity and grace, revolutionised the way women dressed and viewed fashion. She brought a sense of sophistication to the White House that had not been seen before, inspiring women around the world. Her fashion choices, from the pillbox hats to the elegant gowns, became iconic, forever associated with her name. But Jacqueline's legacy extends far beyond fashion. Her work in restoring and preserving the White House left a lasting mark on the nation's history. Through her efforts, the White House was transformed into a museum of American history and culture, a place that told the story of the nation's journey. Her commitment to preserving the past for future generations reflected her deep respect for history and her understanding of its importance. In the realm of arts and culture, Jacqueline's influence was profound. She brought artists, musicians and writers to the forefront, showcasing the richness and diversity of American culture. Her efforts in promoting the arts, 
resonated with the public, instilling a sense of pride and appreciation for the cultural heritage of the country. She also championed the cause of arts education, emphasizing its importance in the development of a well-rounded society. Jacqueline's role as a mother was another significant part of her legacy. Her dedication to raising her children with love, care, and a sense of normalcy in extraordinary circumstances was admired by many. She set an example for parents, showing that even in the most challenging situations, it is possible to provide a stable and nurturing environment for children. As a public figure, Jacqueline faced personal tragedies and challenges with a resilience and poise that became a source of inspiration for many. Her strength in the face of adversity, her ability to carry on with dignity and grace, set a powerful example of resilience. She became a symbol of hope and strength, showing that it is possible to endure the toughest of times with courage and composure. Jacqueline Kennedy's influence was not confined to the period she spent in the public eye. It extended far beyond that. She left an indelible mark on American culture and society, shaping the way future generations would view the role of the First Lady, the importance of arts and culture, and the power of resilience in the face of adversity. An enduring legacy is not just a reflection of what Jacqueline Kennedy did, it is a celebration of who she was, a woman of elegance, intelligence and strength. Her legacy is a tapestry of her many roles, as a first lady, a fashion icon, a patron of the arts, a mother, and a symbol of resilience. Her story continues to inspire, reminding us of the impact one individual can have in shaping not just their own destiny, but also the cultural and historical landscape of their time. Chapter 15 The Final Years As the twilight years of Jacqueline Kennedy's remarkable life approached, they were marked not by retreat, but by continued engagement, passion, and a graceful embrace of the evolving chapters of her life. This chapter, The Final Years, paints a portrait of Jacqueline's later life, highlighting her sustained involvement in work, her enduring personal interests, and her engagement with public life. In her later years, Jacqueline remained active in the world of publishing. Her career as an editor continued to flourish, as she brought her unique perspective and expertise to a variety of literary projects. She worked with dedication, shaping and guiding the works of authors, and ensuring that each book she touched was imbued with quality and significance. Her contributions to the publishing industry during these years solidified her reputation as a respected and influential figure in the world of literature. Jacqueline's personal interests and passions continued to be a significant part of her life. She maintained her love for arts and culture, often attending exhibitions, theatre performances and concerts. Her presence at these events was a testament to her enduring commitment to the arts. She also continued to travel, exploring new places and cultures, which enriched her perspective and kept her spirit of adventure alive. Her role as a mother and a grandmother was a source of immense joy and pride for Jacqueline. She cherished the time spent with her family, offering them the same love, guidance and support that had always been a hallmark of her character. Her bond with her children and grandchildren was a beautiful aspect of her life, filled with moments of tenderness, laughter and shared memories. Jacqueline's engagement with public life in her later years was marked by a dignified balance between maintaining her privacy and contributing to causes she believed in. She continued to lend her support to various charitable and cultural organisations, believing in the power of giving back to the community. Her public appearances, though less frequent, were always occasions of interest and admiration, as people continued to be inspired by her enduring grace and presence. Despite the challenges of ageing, 
Jacqueline faced her later years with the same resilience and elegance that had defined her entire life. She managed her health with care and continued to live life with purpose and joy. Her approach to ageing was a reflection of her philosophy of life, one of embracing change, maintaining dignity and finding beauty in every stage of life. In The Final Years, we see a portrait of Jacqueline Kennedy not as a figure frozen in the past, but as a woman who continued to evolve and engage with the world around her. She remained a figure of inspiration, her life a testament to the fact that one's later years can be a time of meaningful activity, continued growth and enduring impact. As this chapter closes, it leaves us with an image of Jacqueline Kennedy in her final years, a woman of grace, wisdom and strength. Her journey through life was marked by many roles and many challenges, but through it all, she remained true to herself, living her life with purpose and dignity. Her final years were a fitting conclusion to a life well lived, a life that continues to inspire and resonate with people around the world. Chapter 16 Remembering Jacqueline As the story of Jacqueline Kennedy's extraordinary life draws to a close, we step back to reflect on her enduring influence and the indelible mark she left on American society and the world. This final chapter, Remembering Jacqueline, is a tribute to her life's journey, a life that was a tapestry woven with threads of grace, strength, resilience and a profound impact on those around her. Jacqueline Kennedy's life was a journey through some of the most significant moments in American history, from her early days as a young, curious mind, to her time as the first lady in the White House, and then as a respected editor and a devoted mother and grandmother, her life was marked by a series of roles, each played with dignity and elegance. Her influence on fashion and style was unparalleled. She transformed the way women dressed, bringing a sense of sophistication and grace to fashion. Her style was not just about the clothes, it was a reflection of her personality, her class, and her approach to life. Her impact on fashion continues to resonate, inspiring designers and fashion enthusiasts around the world. Jacqueline's contribution to the arts and culture was profound. Her work in preserving the history and heritage of the White House, her support for artists and musicians, and her passion for literature and publishing enriched the cultural fabric of America. She showed the world the importance of culture in shaping a nation's identity and the value of preserving history for future generations. Her role as the First Lady redefined what it meant to be a partner to the President. She was not just a supportive wife. She was a partner in John F. Kennedy's vision for America. Her grace under pressure, especially during times of personal and national tragedy, showed her inner strength and resilience. She became a symbol of hope and courage, a beacon of stability in turbulent times. As a mother, Jacqueline's devotion to her children and grandchildren was a testament to her character. She raised her family with love, teaching them the values of humility, kindness and a strong work ethic. Her efforts to provide them with a normal upbringing, despite their extraordinary circumstances, were admirable. Jacqueline Kennedy's life was not without challenges, but she faced them with a resilience that inspired those around her. She navigated personal losses, public scrutiny, and the pressures of life in the public eye with a poise and dignity that became her signature. Her journey was one of growth, transformation, and an unwavering commitment to her ideals and values. In Remembering Jacqueline, we look back at a life that was rich in experiences, achievements and contributions. Her legacy is not just in the tangible things she left behind, but in the intangible qualities she embodied. Grace, strength, intelligence and a spirit of resilience. She was a woman ahead of her time, a role model for generations of women and men who seek to make a positive impact on the world. As we close the pages of Jacqueline Kennedy's story, we are left with a sense of admiration and inspiration. 
Her life reminds us of the power of grace under pressure, the importance of cultural preservation, and the impact one individual can have on society. Jacqueline Kennedy's story is not just a chapter in American history. It is a narrative that continues to influence and inspire, a narrative of a life lived with purpose, dignity, and an enduring legacy. As we conclude this remarkable journey through the life of Jacqueline Kennedy, we hope you found inspiration and enjoyment in every chapter. Don't forget, there's always more to explore and learn. Visit wooenglish.com for a world of captivating stories that make learning English a delightful experience. Plus, you can download free ebooks in PDF format to continue your learning adventure. Thank you for joining us and keep learning with Woo English.